Top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 29th, 2020. So yesterday, we had ourselves a record-setting day in the market um, as the bulls really celebrated the signing of the $900 billion stimulus plan, kind of um, helping to float the market higher. What was interesting yesterday is we saw um, a big push in some of the big giant techs, um, but we saw a lot of other stocks kind of drifting sideways and even moving lower yesterday. And we'll take a look at that as we uh, move along this morning. But looking at the indexes here, we have nothing but bullish price action going on. As you can see, uh, bulls in control, breaking through that resistance up here, moving on through. And this morning we're pushing even higher. Bulls are continuing to stay fired up. So watch that closely this morning. We're continuing to stretch this market out. A little bit of a Santa Claus move here um, in the market. Now, one thing I want to continue to caution on is that this relentlessness in this bullish rally will end eventually. And so you're going to want to be careful not to chase stocks that are already extended. Be really, really careful that you're buying um, low risk entry trades if you're trying to move in and not chase. Well, one of the things that can really damage an account is the fear of missing out where we race in at the end and all of a sudden the music stops. So be really, really careful here as we continue to stretch out and realize that volumes are typically going to drop and continue to drop as we head toward the holiday. Momentum can stall out pretty quickly. So watch that closely. We also have a very light earnings calendar and economic calendar today, um, which kind of puts us in that situation where we could be extra sensitive to any political news and events uh, going on in the world. So watch that closely. Let's take a look um, and just realize that we are quite a ways from our 50 day moving average. We continue to stretch this out. So at any point in time, profit takers could come in to play. Well, just watch that closely. I would want, um, I don't want to um, raise any alarm bear bells of fear. There is reason for some caution because we are so extended, but, um, Stay with the trend as long as the trend remains bullish. Um, don't try to second guess when this trend might end. This is one of those relentless markets where um, it just um, gains energy on almost anything to, to push higher. So kind of keep that in mind. We want to stay with the trend until that trend starts to show us something different. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also breaking through, continuing to rally. As you can see, very, very strong moves here, breaking through record setting um, um, open here this morning. It looks like SPY is going to make a new record here, continuing to push on higher. Keep in mind that we are continuing to stay very, very separated from our major moving averages, and um, we continue to extend uh, to the upside. So once again, just be careful not to chase um, as we continue to stretch this market higher heading into the New Year's Day holiday. Um, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ, new records yesterday and pushing on higher today. And the NASDAQ really enjoyed um, some big moves and it was really heavily focused into the giant tech um, market. Take a look at uh, Microsoft. Microsoft enjoyed a nice rally yesterday and is extending that on today. Um, Apple, Apple enjoyed a really big rally yesterday and extending on up today. Google um, had a good day yesterday, pushing on higher, and you can see it's trying to extend that move yet, um, again. And then Amazon, Amazon had a whopper of a day yesterday, pushing up strongly. So a lot of the focus was into the big heavy tech sector that was lifting um, the indexes. While the uh, well, overall we saw an awful lot of um, 
stocks just kind of drifting sideways and some pulling back. So watch that closely. Um, big techs definitely have the weighting in the indexes to continue keep the markets moving higher, but just notice that we're finding less and less companies pushing the markets up at the moment. Let's take a look at um, IWM. Now, IWM struggled just a little bit yesterday, and as you can see, none of the big big techs were in here and um, left behind a bit of a bearish engulfing candle, but we're still holding this trend very, very strong. So although we do have this little bit of a bearish warning, um, just to add a little bit of caution in, there's no real threat here of breaking this upside trend, at least at the moment. And this morning, it's trying to lift a little bit off of that. So just watch that close. We may be a little bit extended, and I've mentioned this several times, that um, IWM has really become quite parabolic in this move. So um, just a little bit of caution here. Now, Techs, um, not, I mean, um, the financial sector did a really good job yesterday of hanging in there, but by the end of the day, started to pull back just a little bit. If those financials and oil sector stocks continue to hold up, um, IWM can hold up right along with those. If we do see those starting to sell off or pull back, we could see some effect here, so watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our VIX here. What's interesting, whoops. Well, I can't type it. There we go. Our VIX really didn't show us um, what you would expect yesterday, um, setting new record highs in the market. Notice that we are continuing to hold at a little bit of higher level here in the VIX, which would typically not occur. When we see new record highs being made in the market, we will typically see the VIX much, much lower than holding on to a 20 handle. So that still raises that concern and it's a little bit odd here in this market that we continue to hold on to an elevated VIX when we're setting new record highs. Let's see if that can maybe break down this morning. I would really like to see the VIX breaking down below this support level. That would make a lot more sense if we really don't have fear or we can see this market rallying to new records. We should be seeing the VIX down in here, not holding on to an elevated level, holding on to above a 20 handle here in the VIX. So a little bit perplexing there, so watch that closely. It could also signal that if we do get that sentiment shift, that it could move really, really quickly to the other side. So just watch that closely. I think we're in pretty good shape here though, as long as we don't break back above that 50 day moving average, as long as we don't break above this little downtrend that we're showing in here, and hold above there. So as long as we stay down in this area, I think we're okay, but it is kind of perplexing to see the VIX holding so well um, when we're setting new record highs in the market. Kind of an interesting situation and something I gotta be honest, guys, I've never seen in my 30 years in the market, new record highs being set when our VIX is still holding above 20 handles. Pretty interesting uh, market to be sure. Let's take a look at T2122. This was interesting yesterday as well. As the market continued to rally, notice that T2122 actually saw some pullback. So we gapped way up into here yesterday and um, ended up pulling back on T2122. So this is also that indicator that is telling us that fewer and fewer stocks were doing the lifting yesterday as the um, we had more kind of in a pullback or consolidation mode than we had in actually pushing us higher yesterday. So watch that closely. If we happen to get a sentiment shift, and I'm not certain and I'm certainly not suggesting that I can predict when that would occur. I don't know when that would occur. But if we do happen to get a sentiment shift, this is kind of indicating that um, we have more of those stocks kind of drifting sideways or south. If those big techs were to experience some selling, we could quickly see this move sharply lower. So watch for that. And then T2101, which is the absolute market breadth indicator, you can see that it continues to be 
um, in a rather sharp decline here. Notice we've got a downtrend in play. We've broken this upside little trend that we had going on this wedge, and we're breaking that down here. So we're seeing fewer and fewer stocks holding the market up, and that is something that you want to be cautious and careful of just in case um, we do get that selling wave that comes in uh, to the market. So watch carefully. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. There is a little bit on the economic calendar to be aware of, but not so much to really expect a whole lot of price action from it. Um, notice we have the Case Shiller price act, uh, price index that will be coming out here at 9 a.m. Of course, housing has been really, really strong. That can continue to hold and help to hold those bulls in place. Let's watch that closely uh, today, but it's unlikely it's really gonna move us around a lot. Um, notice that the rest of the day, all we really have is bond announcements and bond um, auctions. So probably not much to worry about there. And we have treasury yields actually heading up this morning. So um, just kind of keep an eye on those items. On the earnings front, um, big, um, big um, drawdown in those earnings as we head into the end of the year. There's not much going on here. We only have one um, verified report. Um, JRJC will be reporting today. Um, I put it on the morning blog, but I got to tell you, it's probably not all that notable. And that's the only one this morning that is a verified report um, uh, today. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could please do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember everyone, there's lots of free training on this channel. Um, I try to avoid all of the hype and all of the drama and really look at the technicals of the charts. And if you guys find that helpful in how you plan your day, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and um, it helps us to continue to grow. And also, please feel free to share this on these videos on your social media platforms. That really helps us con to continue to grow as well. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time. You know, it does take quite a little bit of effort to produce one of these videos every single day. Um, I've got over 950 videos now on YouTube um, doing that. So um, thank you so much for your support and seeing the growth in the channel. And um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's um, take a look at some of these stocks and remember that every time I post one of these stocks, that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, as a matter of fact, um, everyone needs to be doing their own due diligence and following their trading plan. Um, it's never a good idea to blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas or thoughts, but let's take a look and see if there's anything in here that might be of use to you that you might want to put into a watch list. Let's take a look at Expedia here. Expedia, interesting chart. Um, notice that we um, broke down this support here just a little bit. We broke down, but have rallied back up and we're holding in here. There's been a surge here in the last couple of days in the news environment, suggesting that there will be a uh, a, a massive return to air travel um, and vacations and things like that once we get past um, COVID. And that may be the case. We could see a lot of folks celebrating, uh, maybe even rewarding themselves. Um, and we're seeing some of these stocks like Expedia, airlines, things like that starting to perk up. You might wanna keep a close eye on those. They're looking pretty decent here um, overall. So keep a close eye on that. And we also have Boeing in the news today. Boeing's uh, 737 MAX will be returning to service. Um, that may also kind of help um, uh, some of those travel stocks um, begin to lift back up. So watch that close. Take a look at steel. Steel has been holding up really, really well. Uh, Cleveland Cliffs, 
hanging right in here after breaking through this major resistance high up here and now we're just consolidating that move so watch that closely Cleveland Cliffs still could be setting up here and I think it's worthy of a watch list you might want to keep an eye on X as well now X has experienced a little bit more of a pullback but I think that's just because of this extraordinary run-up and we're just kind of drifting our way back to the trend if we get back in here and can hold in on this trend watch for that next opportunity to the upside keep a close eye on that let's take a look at Starbucks Starbucks had a really good day yesterday popping up and triggering my alert here um, on the chart now this kind of slipped beyond its trend just a little bit and I wouldn't be all that surprised to see this rest just a little bit more right in this area and maybe come back over to this bigger longer trend um, just get a little bit more of a rest or pause in here but let's keep an eye on it it could also be that time where this wants to start stretching higher so watch that closely it's looking good here in the chart take a look at that take a look at fastly now fastly i put in here yesterday to keep uh, an eye on but fastly disappointed big time yesterday selling off strongly and as you can see breaking down this trend so this is one of those charts that's going to come off of my list and until it recovers or if we rally back to a resistance point and show a failure then fastly could end up on a short list but watch that close um, really disappointing in um, that stock yesterday kind of fell apart how about a little bit of retail now you got to be kind of careful with retail you don't want to overdo it um, on that take a look at UAA UAA continues to hang in here after breaking through a significant level here um, UAA is holding up in that support area let's keep a close eye on that trying to hang in look pretty good um, uh, it's worth keeping an eye on here in UAA so um, might want to put that one on your list take a look at Lyft Lyft is also holding up very very well Lyft and Uber both um, we pushed up and that would kind of lean toward that travel story as well um, nice little tight consolidation this is very very tight what I'd be looking for because of the bullish market this to finally catch that bid and start pushing higher and extend that move so watch that closely Cliff, Cleveland Cliffs looking higher How about some uh, metals uh, take a look at Alcoa Alcoa hanging in here pretty well it tried to get a little bit going yesterday couldn't quite um, hold on to that by the end of the day what's interesting about Alcoa though is that we've broken above fairly significant level of resistance and we're just kind of hanging in there on that support now we may have to consolidate this big move here for a little bit longer but watch that closely for that opportunity that that could start moving on higher and staying in that metals area you guys remember yesterday I mentioned GLD GLD took off um, nicely yesterday but ended up pulling back and I think that's okay um, overall as long as we kind of hold in here on this upside trend let's watch this carefully if that can continue to back and fill in here we've got Treasury bonds heading up we also had the house yesterday pass um, a bill raising the direct payments to two thousand dollars per person um, I don't know where that money is gonna come from but um, they passed that and now that has moved on to the Senate the Senate may be working on a vote on that today so watch that closely should um, the Senate go ahead and pass that then um, we could potentially see um, gold really begin to spike as we continue to print and print and print and debase the dollar so watch that carefully if that starts perking up and then also silver um, silver hanging in there yesterday um, gapped up substantially and pulled back but notice that we're just kind of resting in this upside pattern here so as we continue to rest if we hold up above some support levels here in this chart keep an eye on that watch this for that next upside opportunity in silver so pretty good signs there overall um, we also had some interesting moves in some of the um, consumer defensive sector big strong move here 
um, we kind of broke down and then turned right around and perked right back up here in uh, Coca-Cola. You can see breaking on through. Um, if we can hold above this little support area, there may be some opportunities coming here in Coke. We also saw that in Pepsi yesterday. Really strong move moving up, trying to break through some all-time highs here in Pepsi. So watch that closely as uh, some of these consumer defensives try to perk up and get a little bit stronger. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. I also want to remind everyone that we are doing an open house at Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. I will put a link in the description just right below the title again. You guys will be able to drop on in, um, check us out, in, and um, enjoy the day with us. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. Be safe out there, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.